Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT600 Pro 2 600 watt automatic antenna tuner. The AT600 Pro 2 is one of LDG's most feature packed tuners, so this video series will help you get the most out of everything the AT600 Pro 2 has to offer. Before we show you how to install and use the AT600 Pro 2, let's take a brief tour of the AT600 Pro 2's features. The front panel features two LED bar graph displays that show power and SWR levels, as well as report the operating status. Eight front panel buttons allow you to control the functions of the AT600 Pro 2. Also, there is a bypass indicator LED and an antenna 2 LED. On the rear panel, the TX-SO239 connects to the output of your linear amplifier and there are two antenna jacks. The AT600 Pro 2 has a built-in two-port antenna switch. Here's the DC input jack, and this jack provides integration with ICOM and Yaesu radios. This jack is a new feature for LDG tuners, the meter jack. It allows connection of the optional M600 analog meter. Now let's take a look at how to install the AT600 Pro 2. First, turn off your radio and amplifier. Next, connect a coaxial cable jumper from the antenna jack of the radio to the RF input jack on your linear amplifier. Next, connect a coax cable from the RF output jack on the amplifier to the TX jack on the rear of the AT600 Pro 2. Connect your primary antenna's coax feed line to the antenna 1 jack on the back of the AT600 Pro 2. If you have a second antenna, you may connect its feed line coax to the antenna 2 jack. LDG recommends that you also connect your AT600 Pro 2 to station ground using the provided wing nut marked ground shown here. Now connect the supplied DC coax plug to the DC power jack and connect to a 12 volt DC supply. The center pin is positive. Finally, be sure to hook up any amplifier control cables that go between your radio and your amplifier. We'll show you how to hook up the optional ICOM and Yaesu radio interface cables, as well as the optional M600 analog meter, in later videos in this series. We're now ready to begin using the AT600 Pro 2 automatic tuner. Turn on your radio, select an operating frequency and mode. Bypass your amplifier. If your transmitter does not have an SWR rollback circuit, turn down the transmit power to 25 watts. Press the power button on the AT600 Pro 2 to turn it on, and then press the antenna button if necessary to make sure that you are transmitting on the desired antenna. Press the function button followed by the C down or auto button to make sure the tuner is in fully automatic mode. The LEDs will blink in the center to indicate full auto. Now if the SWR is too high while transmitting, the AT600 Pro 2 will automatically begin tuning. On single sideband and AM modes, keep talking while tuning. Continue transmitting until the tuning cycle is done. The LEDs will indicate a match. The first time you tune on a particular frequency, it may take a few seconds to find a match. After that, however, the next time you tune on that same frequency, the AT600 Pro 2 will recall the tuning settings instantly. Once you have tuned for a particular frequency, you may place your amplifier back in active mode and begin to transmit. That covers the basic installation and operation of the AT600 Pro 2. Stay tuned for advanced operations, interfacing to ICOM and Yaesu radios, 
as well as the exciting new M600 external analog meter.